So my name is Sachin Patel. I'm the chair of the Department of Psychiatry and Behavioral Sciences at Northwestern Medicine. I arrived at the beginning of uh, 2022 from Vanderbilt University, where I was the division director for general psychiatry. Uh, I spent 16 years at Vanderbilt, uh, including my adult residency training, um, and spent uh, my early faculty career there um, doing a number of things, including research, education, clinical care, and administrative work. My clinical work has focused at the intersection between substance use disorders and major mental illnesses. There's a strong relationship between substance use and illnesses such as depression, PTSD, uh, schizophrenia, for example. Um, and treating patients with these combinations of disorders um, has really been my focus. So my research is focused primarily on understanding how certain types of environmental factors such as stress, social stress, and other types of uh, environmental stress affect brain structure and function that then leads to susceptibility for different types of mental illnesses such as depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, for example. I was extremely interested in joining Northwestern Medicine for a number of reasons. Primarily, the research infrastructure and clinical care are second to none. For my specific research interests, uh, the exceptionally strong infrastructure in basic and translational neuroscience and the intersection between those disciplines in psychiatry and neurology were extremely attractive for me. We have a number of areas that psychiatry is leading in in this region. For example, we have a state-of-the-art inpatient facility that I believe is second to none. Although there are many opportunities to advance care and increase innovative care models, I believe this is a great start and also a great opportunity to advance uh, inpatient acute care for mental illnesses in the region. There are several areas of priority for mental health in our country at this time. Uh, one has to do with increasing access to mental health care for everyone that needs it. In this time of COVID, it's become apparent that mental well-being and general physical well-being and mental health uh, need to be a priority. And figuring out ways for everyone that needs care to receive it should be a high priority of all clinicians and mental health centers in this country, and certainly is of Northwestern medicine. The importance of emotional and behavioral health in the current COVID pandemic cannot be understated. We've seen the effects of this pandemic uh, throughout our population, from very young children to school-age children, uh, young adults, all the way to older adults. Figuring out ways that health systems can provide mental health care and wellness care to those that are struggling during the pandemic is one of the top priorities for all health systems, including Northwestern Medicine. I feel that a major role Northwestern Medicine can play in the advancement of psychiatry is by supporting basic and translational neuroscience into basic brain function and how these brain functions deteriorate in mental illnesses. We would like to utilize emerging technological advancements in brain imaging and other technologies to understand how the brain function deteriorates in mental illness. Without these deep understandings, developing new and innovative therapeutics for mental illnesses becomes quite difficult. I see the future of Northwestern as the intersection between translational neuroscience and clinical psychiatry to ultimately advance the mental health of our population. We're very interested in understanding mechanisms by which stress affects brain structure and function to lead to susceptibility, for example, to different types of mental illnesses. Uh, by understanding these mechanisms, we hope to uncover new molecular targets, for example, for the development of novel therapeutics. And one specific area we've been very interested in over the past decade has been utilization of brain cannabinoid systems. So these are brain systems that respond to products of cannabis, which are now being looked at for a variety of conditions, both physical as well as psychological. However, less well understood is that the brain makes its own chemicals similar to cannabis. And we're very interested in understanding how harnessing this particular molecule could be used to develop novel therapeutics for a variety of disorders from anxiety and trauma-related disorders to major depression, for example. In addition to seeing patients on the inpatient unit and other acute care services, um, I'm very interested in uh, relaunching our translational neuroscience program focused on understanding stress neurobiology and the role of cannabinoid signaling and the potential therapeutics development that may arise from that work. We're also interested in launching our new Center for Psychiatric Neuroscience, which will bring together uh, neuroscientists and physicians to answer basic questions about brain structure and function and understand the pathophysiology of mental illnesses uh, in a way that simply couldn't be done even 10 years ago.